Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with a new Let's Play of one of my favorite games of all time. This is Landstalker, The Treasures of King Null, uh, from 1993. <laughs> uh, I played this game a lot when I was a kid. It was one of my favorites, and it gives me a lot of nostalgia every time I play it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Gamble Day 312, Jip to Ruins. One of my favorite games of all time, I gotta say. What else can I say about it? Statue of Jipta, took Statue of Jipta. <laughs> Here's your money for the Statue of Jipta. Nigel got 2,000 gold. You're a very good treasure hunter. Hey, hey, hey. With that money, you won't have to work for quite some time. I envy you. What? Help me, please. Who are you? Hey, you. Hand me that little girl. 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 Thankful I've seen King Gold's treasures. They'll do anything to make me talk. They'll probably even kill me. Who knows? So please, help me. Wait a minute. Did you say King Null's treasures? What's with all the jibber-jabber? I told you to give me that girl. Sorry. Run, hurry. Hmm, could be interesting. Okay, come on. <laughs> you won't get away. We did it! She's gone! Hey, girl. Did you really see the legendary treasures? The name's Friday. Don't call me girl! Okay, okay. And you can call me Nigel. Now talk. I saved your life, you know. To tell the truth, I didn't really quit fooling. Why were they running after you if you hadn't seen the treasures? Well, I didn't actually see them, but I know they were out here somewhere. Great. Take me to the general area. After that, my keen senses will lead us to the treasures. Alright then, pull me, Nigel! <laughs> Sorry. Let's get one thing straight. I'm not your follower. I've got a really bad feeling about all this. You're right about those treasures, Friday. I paid all my money to that strange big bird. But if the ship going to the island only comes once a month, you said I don't care how much it costs. I want to go there right now. But 2,000 golds, that's more than I... The treasure's worth more than 2,000 golds, isn't it? I guess so. Well, in for a copper, in for a gold. All right. Now we're playing the game. This is the goddess statue. Not important right now, obviously. Now let's start our adventure. Boy, her voice is gonna be fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. Woe and death unto those who step into this land. Oh boy. Alright, 
so that's like art containers in Zelda basically so I mean you could say this game is like the Sega Genesis's version of Zelda but I mean I guess technically it is but hey we got some money um I still love it I think it's a great game personally I'm glad I'm able to play it because I wasn't sure. I really wanted to play it with my controller, uh, which I was able to set up and fix, but I had to do some Google searching and disable some stuff. But hey, we got it to work, so. Yay. I mean, with the controller. I haven't used the stupid keyboard. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope, we're good. I just got a big smile on my face all the freaking time. My name is Nigel. Wee dee dee, you can't get that treasure. Wee dee dee dee, life is good, yay! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, all this doom music, and I'm just like, being silly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm excited, I love this game. He didn't seem to be the lazy type. I don't sleep for a while. You can stay in our village as long as you want. Hooray! That's a great idea! Go in a hurry! Nigel, wake up! It's time to continue our treasure hunt! Okay. Are you, are you okay? Take care. Ah, uh, come on, controller. The treasures of King No? Oh yeah, I er, have no idea. Okay. So this is important later, but not right now. Obviously you can't get to that. Uh, there is a way to get a livestock in this town, right? Actually, maybe a two or three, but hold on. Hi, are you okay now? Well, where's your friend? You know, that mini-sized girl. How dare you call me mini-sized, you hairy brute? Ooh! Oops, sorry, you touched you, didn't she? Gimme, the village just south of us. They're an atrocious tribe. Okay. On the west side of Gumi, the road branches off into two paths of the sea. The right path leads to the big town Mercator. The left leads to Ryuma, which is famous for its lighthouse. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna get this life. I'm gonna try to get this livestock really quick. Give me the dog. I must jump on his head. Ah, oh, crap. I screwed it up. Alright, now you just wait for this guy to get near that statue. This may take a minute. <laughs> he, has, he has to get right up next to it, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, now you step on that statue. Get this livestock. Not too hard, just takes a little bit of patience. This is a church. In these churches, uh, this is where you save, most importantly, but if you're ever cursed or poisoned or um, have other weird status effects, I think those are the only ones I can't remember I haven't played this in a little while uh, you can come here and if you don't have you know the proper item to heal yourself you can with some money get the priest to heal you of your status ailment it's my duty to make records and perform healings what do you want to bring any book to me is there really a goddess it's yeah so you pick up this blue one and you put it up put it there and you say yes he says, keep a record, and you say yes for free, and you, you say yes, and he goes, Alright then, let me make a record of your adventure in this book. And you hear the sound. Finished, your brave deeds shall remain in our house forever. Are you going to continue your adventure? Yes. Now take a rest. May the goddess bless you in your next adventure. Wait, I didn't mean to quit. Whoops. Well, at least we know the saving works. 
Wait a minute. The start button on my controller doesn't work. I have to use, Z I have to use the Z button. Be careful. May the goddess bless you. Oh well, that's okay. I don't care. Hello. Hi. I can give you a helpful hint about the about a specialty of this island. Do you know about it? Yes. You do? Oh, well, let me let him explain it to you guys. It's a restorative, it's a restorative called Iki Iki, or Iki, as I like to call him. It contains a megadose of the Ikano vitamin. You, got it, you can buy it anywhere, got it? I might call him Iki Iki, so I don't know, we'll see. Iki Iki, Iki Iki, Iki Iki's just easier to say. Found Iki Iki. But Iki Iki is just so silly and fun, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> you must go, you must go see, you must go see the Waterfall Shrine Sage. Careful though, he's eccentric. I've lived here since I was a child. Masan and Gumi were very good friends long ago. What started the feud? Nobody really, I know. Go see the old man at the Waterfall Shrine. Maybe he can tell you, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is a shop, uh, in this town. See something you want, bring it to the counter, so yeah, 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 okay. We can get one Iki Iki for five, 15 golds. So we'll do that. This is a livestock. And it's 150 golds right now, which we obviously can't afford at the moment. So we're not gonna worry about it too much at the moment. I think there's an inn around the corner. Yeah. You're low on health. Hi, do you want to stay? And you don't have any Iki Iki's or whatever, and you're desperate, you can stay at an inn. Also, usually there's an upstairs, and maybe somebody in there you can talk to. Or, like, treasures you can find. This is Pockets. He is not important now, but he will be. You're a treasure hunter, aren't you? Pop, don't even try to hide it. I sent it once. Have you met the sage at the Waterfall Shrine? No. Ah, oh, you need more experience, kid. Yeah, okay. There are many suspicious guests these days. Oh, you are a guest here. Haha, ha, very funny. Okay, that's a pot you can throw and break and not get any rupees out of, or gold. <laughs> oh, and you can look at a map too for free uh, of the island. Let's look at the map. It's a, it's a really cool song uh, when you look at it. It's the island map. Put it on the counter if you want to take a look. Yes. So that's where we are. Oh, I pressed an arrow button. Ew. Crap, now the map's gone. Oh well. Bye. I was trying to see if I could see other areas with the arrow button, but... Yeah, we got my life sock. I guess you can't do that, you just take the away from the map. Plant the seeds and watch them grow. Soon you reap what you have sown. Take the crops to the town one day. You'll be rich and then you'll say... This is the farmer's song. My crop sales will boom when I sing it at the market in Mercator. I heard it through the Iki Iki vine. <laughs> and so the grapevine. <laughs> The Gumi warriors are often seen around the bridge these days. At least that's what they say. Wait, are we almost ready to leave town yet? Oh. Yay, we got another Iki Iki. Have you met anyone who looks different from us? Uh, yes? Oh yeah? Well, if you are, they're Gumi tribesmen and they don't like us in Mountain. Don't go south, you'll get a raw deal. Somebody's gotta put those Gumi savages in their place. If only I were younger. Be careful what you say. My husband is enraged. Okay, and this was the mayor's house, right? Yeet. I didn't throw anything, I don't know why I said this. <laughs> Alright, we're done. We just, I wanna just, for brevity's sake, say one more time. And then we'll get the frick out of this town and go on a continue on with our adventure. Uh. Oh crap, I'm pressing. Okay, I know what to do. I threw it at his head. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, have a nice day. Did I talk to this guy already? Yeah, I think we did. 
Well, I'm not 100%. Damn you, OCD! We used to go just south of us and push. Yeah, we did talk to you, okay. Oh boy. The people of Gumi came and smashed the bridge. The bridge is broken. They must be possessed by evil spirits. Somebody please tell the mayor. Wait, does that mean I have to go back in? Oh my gosh, I just want to get going. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just gonna blah, 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 blah. The bridge has been smashed. The youngsters are planning to make a raid on Gumi. Okay. Alright, now it's time to face some monsters and other stuff. Mostly monsters. Here we have a tree that doesn't seem that important right now, but it will be at some point in the future. Okay, so we got the waterfall train, which is where we need to go in that direction. Village of Gumi and Village of Mass. Ooh, I'm so angry. Wait till the mayor hears about this. Or you think he's already heard about it, buddy? You can let the rope, you can, you know, hit the rope with your feet, I guess. You just kind of walk at it, and the rope comes down, and then you can climb up it from this direction. Alright, now to our first dungeon, the waterfall shrine. Boy, this music's great, isn't it? It is really good, it's just like, kind of like, whoa, this is scary kind of stuff. But it's cool. I love it. Oh no, not a bubble. Okay, so that's a key. Obviously, we're gonna need that. Can't go this way. I don't even think you can jump over these. Nope. They seem pointless to kill these monsters. But, uh, you want to get as much gold as you can. I think this is just if you fall down the hole, you can come from down here. Yeah. Hmm. 
Uh -huh. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta use the key from the pause menu like that to open doors and certain other things. I think that made it so we could go past those golem statues. Or were they orcs? I don't know. No, I think they're golem statues. Yay, money! That's what I was having trouble with like, using the controller earlier. I forgot you have to... It's better to like move the joystick or whatever you're playing on in diagonal directions for this game. I know it's weird, but you get used to it. Myself. I'm Prospero. What do you want? I want this. Bye. See you later, Prospero. I'm just kidding. We have to talk to him, I think. Hmm, you came here looking for the treasures of Kinoa. I'm sorry, but I know absolutely nothing about the treasures. However, I did come across a fragment of a document from the Legend of King Noel just the other day. What did it say? Long, long ago, in the land... In the age of King Noel, a vast horde of soldiers came to this land. But why here? The war was on the continent. What good is an island of soldiers? They must have come to protect something very valuable of King Noel's. Of course, that's it. Wait, wait. There's no reason to assume they were protecting the king's treasures. Maybe not, but I can just feel it. Anything else? I'll look it up later in my books. Stop by later. I may have something for you then. That's it, that's the whole dungeon. Now we have to make it out on our own. Fortunately, there's no way to get out without a... It was like a warp thing or an escape rope. You have to walk out. I think that only applies to this dungeon. I was aware. Oh, we need money. God dang it. Hey, we got Iggy Iggy. You made it worth killing you. Congratulations. <laughs> that just sounded straight up evil. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, well, he's a monster. Monsters are supposed to be killed. Yeah, it's a video game. It's all good. Okay, if you guys say so. I don't know where I'm going with all this. I'm just trying to be funny. Okay. Yeah, we already went through here. Hey. Look at that. More treasure for me. What is the treasure this time? More livestock. Okay. We will take that. And, yeah. Alright, okay, this guy's like come out of the wall now. Okay, 
Obvious. After talking to him, I think they repair the bridge, if I'm not mistaken. We can go to my, uh, Gumi. Yeah. Gumi beats at the kid. My courage is enough to go and beat them. We're over really glad now. Don't disturb us. That's it. That's the last straw. I'll do it. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to the mayor then. I'm not sleepy, you're sleepy. Norgel, a terrible tragedy occurred soon after you left. After we managed to fix the bridge, Gooby thugs marched in and kicked out Farah. Oh, my little girl. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? You're, you're just telling me that. You didn't ask me to save her. Oh, please, please save my Farah. Okay, fine. If you insist. Um... Can't afford the livestock. Could stay at the inn. Or uh, we could buy an Iki Iki or two or five. No, probably not five, but this is not the shop. Ah, I found it. Yes, I do like it. I like it a lot. At the beginning of the game, I think the Iki Iki will give you your whole full health. Um, when you get a lot more livestock later on, though, um, <clears throat> it gives you like 75, 80% of your health back, which is still a lot, so I think that's how much it is I, throughout the rest of the game. Not 100%. I'm pretty sure, though. Alright, we're gonna go... Save. Okay, let's go to Gumi. I think when I was a kid, I called it Gummy. I mean, hey. <laughs> Can you blame me? Hmm. Wait a minute. What's over there? Probably nothing. It's nothing. Nothing. Yay. Nothing. I love nothing. Alright. We got the bubble man thing. Bubble. Bubble. Alright, you see a little mushroom thing down there on the ground? Some of them are fake like that. Some of them are monsters that'll pop up. And they're these giant mushrooms that look really weird. You'll see. And uh, you have to fight them, basically. Oh, we got blue bubbles now. That's new. Ow! How dare you, Bubble? Here we go, there's one. Let's try to get his face. Okay, you need to be careful, these guys can poison you. And mess up your day. No, I'm not getting poisoned. Okay, we got another signpost. So I'll try it that way, builds are doing me that way, builds are busting that way. Oh, come on. Alright, so there is a way to get that treasure chest right now, I think. Pretty sure it's a livestock, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Gotta go all the way over here, all the way over here, here, and when he starts not moving, you just... Oh, wait, hang on. You gotta jump up there, right? Oh, yeah, right. like this. Okay. What did I say? 
I said it would be a life sock, and it was. Yay, long term memory. Or I mean, yay for long term memory stuff. Oh my goodness, no. You gotta be careful where you stand when you're singing your sword. Sometimes you'll just not swing it. Oh god, okay. That's just. No, 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 no. Aha, uh -huh, we got it. No, 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 no. Sometimes enemies will, like, try to hit you, like, go around you on your side. And, like, you gotta kind of figure out how to counter it. <sighs> we're in Gumi now. What? You don't really need to talk to them, so we're not going to. They're just gonna tell you to leave anyways at this point. Like, they're doing a sacrifice or whatever. Which is what they're doing. You need to go up those stairs and go this way. Look, it's where. Let's go down here. Okay, okay come on. Dumpo Dumpo Yo. Sacrificial, beneficial, nothing here is artificial. Undefiled, unbeguiled, please accept this virgin child. Dumpo Dumpo Yo. Uh, okay then. Yeah, so you go this way. Do this. Yibbidi yibbidi yah. I think the cars are gone. Yeah, now you can go into the village. It's pockets. go and kill a bunch of monsters and get some money so we can buy some livestock and stuff. Yay! Like, I want to get the livestock over in uh, Masson before we start our next dungeon, which is quite a bit more difficult than the Waterfall Shrine. The Waterfall Shrine is like a little baby tutorial kitty dungeon compared to the next one. I mean, the next one's still pretty easy compared to later dungeons in this game. How much is this livestock? Ah, too expensive for you. But uh, the next one, I, th I think it's the Swamp Shrine? Yeah. Uh, can we stay the night here? I just don't feel like... How much is it to stay? No, I don't need the island map. Sure, I'm just gonna stay the night here. It's fine. No, don't you feel better? Have a nice day. Alright. <sighs> I see feeling up here. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Yeah, we already talked to you. Okay. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This, okay. I think this is the mayor's house. Yeah, you're gonna need to grab that. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here because I'm really tired. And I also have no idea how much space this is taking up recording this, so... Uh, we're gonna find out. And that'll be that. I'm sure it's fine though. Uh, what did he say? It's hard to inspire others to do good deeds, to do good deeds when so many evils possess. Okay. That's gonna be it for this episode. 
Love you guys. Look forward to episode two tomorrow at 10 in the morning, Eastern time. Have a great day.